For orchards where the fruit trees are planted on a slope over 15 degrees, we collect data with Phantom 4 RTK. The data will be imported into DJI Terra for reconstruction. Then, the reconstructed task data is imported into the agricultural drone for automatic operation. Note, for orchards with a large slope and the drop height over 30 meters, the error in the accuracy of single mapping route is significant. Therefore, it is necessary to execute a secondary terrain following flight with Phantom 4 RTK for data collecting. The mountain height information is collected during the first flight, and the fruit tree height information is collected during the secondary terrain following flight. The drone performs the spraying tasks based on the 3D routes generated by the secondary reconstruction. Take this orchard as an example. We will start collecting the terrain data of the orchard with Phantom 4 RTK. Take out the remote controller, raise the screen to the desired height, and unfold the antenna. Then, short press and long press the power button to turn on the remote controller. Check the stick mode of the remote controller and make sure it's in the mode you often use. Otherwise, change the mode accordingly. Check whether the firmware is up to date and upgrade it to the latest version if not. Take out the Phantom 4 RTK and install the propellers. During installation, check the rotation directions of the propellers are correct. Insert the SD card and remove the gimbal latch. When inserting the battery, push it into the battery compartment with the bigger handle side facing up. Check if the battery is secured and then turn on the drone. If you are prompted to calibrate the compass after entering the flight interface, toggle the flight mode quickly for three to five times to enter compass calibration interface. During the calibration, choose an open field and keep the aircraft far away from metals and other strongly magnetic objects. When the rear indicator lights turn solid yellow, hold the drone with a height more than 1.5 meters and rotate it 360 degrees horizontally. When the rear indicator lights turn solid green, Rotate it 360 degrees horizontally with its nose perpendicular to the ground. When the indicator lights flash green, the calibration succeeds. If the lights flash red, the calibration failed. And recalibrate. If Phantom 4 RTK prompts nothing, you do not have to calibrate the compass. On an open field, make a mark on the ground, place the tripod on the mark, and ensure that the bubble is in the center of the gradienter. Install the extension rod, tighten the knob, and install the DRTK2 mobile station. Ensure that the bubble in the gradienter of the DRTK2 mobile station stays in the black circle, and tighten the screw nut to keep stability. Note, you cannot move the DRTK2 mobile station or change its angle once it is set up and the DRTK2 mobile station must be set up at the same marked position during the next aerial survey. Long press the middle power button of the DRTK2 mobile station to turn it on. Wait for the system to initialize. And then long press the mode button on the right until its lights turn solid yellow. And short press to set it as once blinking green light of mobile base station mode. Short press the link button on the left and the link indicator will flash red and green alternately to indicate that the linking status is now active. On the main interface of Phantom 4 RTK Remote Controller app, select Fly. Click More in the upper right corner, turn on Aircraft RTK Positioning in RTK Settings and select DRTK2 Mobile Station as the RTK service type. Then, scroll down to the bottom and click Linking. When both the linking button of the mobile station and the remote controller indicator light both turn green, the linking succeeds. The remote controller will be automatically disconnected from Phantom 4 RTK. Click Link with Aircraft in the window that appears and press the Link button on the left side of the drone. The remote controller and Phantom 4 RTK complete linking. 
Take a photo with your mobile phone to record the latitude, longitude, and altitude of the mobile station displayed on the RTK interface of the remote controller. And enter these values before the agricultural drone starts operating for precision operation. Click Plan on the main interface. Then select 2D Photogrammetry. Determine the aerial surveying area based on the direction of the drone icon on the map. After planning the aerial surveying area, set height, which is recommended to be 70 meters for orchards on the plane, and the maximum flight speed is also recommended. Turn on altitude optimization. Keep the shooting mode, finish and overlap rate value by default, and then drag the yellow dots to adjust the angle of the routes until it is parallel to the longest side or the routes have the fewest turnings. Prepare the battery and micro SD cards based on mapping area estimated flight time, and the estimated number of photos displayed in the app. Meanwhile, note that a high-speed micro SD card is required for the aerial surveying. Finally, click Save in the lower right corner, enter the field name, then click Confirm, return to the main interface to execute the task. Select Fly on the main interface. Click More in the Execution page, Check the aircraft settings and set the RTH height to be the same with the aerial surveying height, 70 meters. Select Resume Flight in In-Flight RC Signal Lost and select Return to Home in RC Signal Lost. In RTK settings, turn on Aircraft RTK Positioning and select DRTK2 Mobile Station. When RTK satellite searching is completed, the status bar in the upper left turns green and Ready to Go RTK appears. Click the task list icon to retrieve the planned task. Click the invoke and then start icon in the lower right corner. Read the notes and click OK. Slide to the right and the drone will take off automatically to perform the aerial surveying task. Phantom 4 RTK will collect data along the preset route. If the battery gets low during the process, pause the task and make the drone to return for battery replacement. Then, the Phantom 4 RTK will return to the breakpoint to resume the aerial surveying task. After the aerial surveying task is completed, the data in the SD card will be imported to DJI Terra. As a computer software program, DJI Terra performs the functions of autonomous route planning, aerial photography, 2D orthograph, and 3D model reconstruction. It is widely used in geographical mapping, power line inspection, and precision agriculture. Download DJI Terra on DJI official website and install it. Open DJI Terra. Go to User Center in the upper right corner, enter the activation code provided when you purchase the agricultural drone and activate DJI Terra. Powerful functions require high performance computer hardware. The minimum configuration parameter is shown in below and you can configure the computer based on your budget and needs. Open DJI Terra, click New Mission icon in the lower left corner, select Task Type to Visible Light, enter the task name, and click OK. There are two ways to add photos in the upper right corner of the task interface. Click Add Photo button to manually select photos or press Ctrl A to select all photos in the folder and import them to DJI Terra. Alternatively, click Add Folder button to import all photos in the selected folder, which is convenient and rapid. In addition, select High Resolution for 2D Map and Fruit Tree under the scene, and leave other parameters as their defaults. After adding the photos, click Start Reconstruction under the taskbar on the right. Then, Reconstruction Parameter Checklist appears. Click OK if everything is correct and the reconstruction progress appears under the taskbar Wait patiently for the reconstruction to complete. After the reconstruction is completed, click Applications in the taskbar on the right and select Agricultural Application. Enter the task name and select Spraying Type and Flight Route Plan Type based on the actual operational requirements. Before planning the task, turn on the Display Results switch to check whether the surveying area is correctly recognized. If not, select Modify Result to modify the recognition result. Based on the actual situation, select the recognized objects that needs to be corrected, such as trees, buildings, and utility poles. Adjust the brush size, hold the control key, and tap the left mouse button when correcting the corresponding points. And then click Check to confirm the corrected points. 
In addition, to avoid route offset, we recommend that you turn on the force set calibration point switch when planning the task for fruit trees. The calibration point should be in an open and specific location. Spraying type includes continuous spraying or spot spraying. The former type means that the agricultural drone performs uninterrupted spraying along the routes, and the latter type means that it only sprays above the centers of the trees but not between the trees. In actual operations, continuous spraying is recommended for higher efficiency. In continuous spraying mode, four flight route plan types are available. Distance interval, auto, tree crown center, auto, semi-automatic, and manual. Distance interval auto means to add farmland points to circle the orchard and automatically generate equidistant routes. Tree crown center auto is to add farmland points to circle the orchard and automatically generate operating routes passing over the center of each tree. Semi-automatic is to add farmland points based on the distribution trend of fruit trees, and the routes are automatically adjusted to connect the tree centers around. Manual is to add farmland points based on the distribution trend of fruit trees and automatically connect them into operating routes. In spot spraying mode, two route planning types are available, tree crown center auto and semi-automatic. Tree crown center auto means to add farmland points to circle the orchard and automatically generate operating routes passing over the center of each tree. This drone sprays only above the centers of the trees but not between the trees. Semi-automatic is to add farmland points based on the distribution trend of fruit trees, and the routes are automatically adjusted to line the tree centers around. After the planning is completed, the drone sprays only above the centers of the trees but not between them. Continuous spraying is recommended because of the higher efficiency. After finishing spraying type and flight route plan type, select farmland point and mission area planning to plan the routes and add calibration point, and then click Generate 3D Flight Route in the lower right corner. Adjust route altitude, flight route width, route angle, and terrain follow accuracy. The smaller the terrain follow accuracy, the more obvious the fluctuations, and vice versa. Hold the middle mouse button and drag to check the route. After the adjustment, click back to edit in the lower right corner and select export to remote controller in the upper right corner to export the task to the SD card. And insert it into the remote controller of the agricultural drone. Before spraying, set up the DRTK2 mobile station at the same location marked during the Phantom 4 RTK aerial survey. Enter into the RTK settings of the Agricultural Drone Remote Controller. Turn on Aircraft RTK Positioning. Select DRTK2 Mobile Station as the RTK signal source. Click RTK Mobile Station Settings. Check the photo taken by the mobile phone and import the latitude, longitude, and altitude of the mobile station recorded during the aerial survey. Import the spraying task and click the start icon to begin the spraying operation. Note, for orchards on a large slope and a drop height over 30 meters, a secondary terrain following survey is required. First, perform the initial mapping of the mountain orchard with a large slope which mainly obtains the height information of the mountain. Take this orchard as the example. When using Phantom 4 RTK for surveying, ensure that the minimum operation height is at least 30 meters higher than the highest point of the mountain. However, how to determine the height of the mountain? You can manually operate Phantom 4 RTK to the top of the mountain and check the height value to determine the mountain height. For example, if the height of the mountain is 100 meters, the height of the initial mapping should be at least 130 meters. The parameter setting and the operation process are the same as common orchards. After the setup is completed, start collecting data. After the data collection is completed, import the aerial surveying data into DJI Terra. Select Fruit Tree as the scene and select Low for the resolution. Click Start Reconstruction in the lower right corner and wait for the reconstruction to complete. Since the resolution is low, the reconstruction time is relatively short. After completed, export the DSM file. Select the task folder and open it. Select the map folder and then copy the files gsddsm.tfw and gsddsm.tif in the folder. Create a new folder called DJI in the storage card and then a DSM subfolder under the DJI folder. Then, create a new custom folder under the DSM folder. 
and move the files gsddsm.tfw and gsddsm.tif to this folder. Insert the memory card into Phantom 4 RTK Remote Controller and export DJI2 into the DSM folder. Select Plan and Terrain Awareness Mode in the main interface of the remote controller and retrieve DJI2 in the DSM folder on the right. The mapping area will appear as a terrain rendering map after the file is imported. If the rendering map affects the planning of the area, you can turn off Display Terrain Rendering Map in the General Settings page of the remote controller. Then, plan the secondary mapping area within the boundary lines and set the height 70 meters as recommended and keep other parameters by default and others as their defaults. Then click Save and name the area. Select Fly in the main interface of the remote controller. Retrieve and perform the mapping task After the aerial surveying task is completed, import the data from the SD card to DJI Terra and perform reconstruction again. At this time, select Resolution as High. After the reconstruction is completed, adjust the route parameters and select Export to Remote Controller in the upper right corner to export the task to the SD card. Then, insert the SD card into the Agricultural Drone Remote Controller, import the Route task, select the Operation task, and start the spraying operation.